Hi guys, welcome to AC Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix unexpected kernel mode trap in Windows 11 and Windows 10. Stop code 0x000007f unexpected kernel mode trap. This stop code indicates that a kernel mode program generated an exception that the error handler did not catch. The unexpected kernel mode trap stop code on a blue screen of death is typically caused by a driver or hardware related issue. Here are some common causes of this stop code. Number 1. Defective RAM modules or issues with the RAM slot can trigger this error. Number 2. Overheating of components such as the CPU or GPU can lead to this error. Number 3. Other hardware components like motherboard, hard drives or power supply may also cause this error if they are failing. Number 4. Incorrect, outdated or corrupted device driver can lead to this kernel mode trap. Number 5. Sometimes newly installed drivers might not be compatible with the existing hardware or operating system which can lead to this error. Number 6. Installing new software, especially system level application like antivirus program or utilities that interact with the kernel can conflict leading to this error. Number 7. Malware infections can corrupt system files or interfere with the kernel operations, causing unexpected trap. Number 8. If system files essential for kernel operations may become corrupted. And number 9. Sometimes recently Windows updates might introduce bugs or incompatibilities leading to this error. However, don't worry, here are some certain fixes to solve stop code unexpected kernel mode trap in Windows 10 and Windows 11. So let's get started. Checking the RAM can help identify if faulty or failing RAM is the cause of this issue. To do this, just keep patience until Windows fail to boot 3 times consecutively. Then it should automatically enter the Windows recovery environment or you can force the system into WinRE by powering off your computer when the Windows logo appears during boot three times in a row. Alternatively, you can use a Windows installation media or recovery media to enter Windows recovery environment. To do that, insert the Windows installation media and boot from it. You might need to change the boot order in the BIOS or UEFI settings to boot from your USB or DVD. On the initial setup screen, select your language and click next. Click on repair your computer at the bottom left corner to enter WinRE. In the Windows recovery environment, select troubleshoot. Now choose advanced options. Select command prompt to open the command prompt. In the command prompt window, type the following command mdschd and press enter. This command will launch the Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool. Here you will see a prompt whether you want to restart now and check for problems or check for problems the next time you start your computer. I will suggest you to select Restart Now and Check for Problems to begin the Memory Diagnostic Test immediately. Now your computer will restart. 
and the memory diagnostic tool will run automatically. This process might take several minutes, so keep patience. After the test completes, your computer will restart again. If it boots successfully, the test result will appear in the notification area. If the result do not appear automatically, you can check them in the event viewer. Press Windows key plus X and select event viewer. Navigate to Windows logs, then system. Look for event with memory diagnostic result as the source. If the memory diagnostic tool does not find any errors but you still continue to encounter the unexpected kernel mode trap error, then try this second method. At first, you will need to access Windows recovery environment by following previous method. In WinRE, select troubleshoot. Now choose Advanced Options. Select Command Prompt to open Command Prompt window. In the Command Prompt window, type the following command chkdsk space forward slash f space forward slash r. This command checks the disk for errors and attempt to fix them. Note, you might need to specify the drive letter. For example, here's my drive letter is C. Now press enter. This process might take some time depending on the size of the drive and extent of the issues. If the C drive is currently in use, you will be asked if you want to schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restarts. Type Y and press enter to confirm. Close the command prompt and restart your computer if the check is scheduled. Upon reboot, the check disk utility run and check the disk for errors. The check disk utility will run and check for errors, fix them and attempt to recover any readable information from the bad sectors. After performing this check, you can potentially resolve unexpected kernel mode trap error if it's caused by disk related errors. But if error persists after running check disk utility, then try this third method. Overclocking and memory caching can sometimes leading to system instability, especially if the hardware cannot handle the increased speeds or altered timings. To disable overclocking and memory caching in the BIOS or UEFI, first restart your computer. Then during initial boot process, press the BIOS key to enter your BIOS or UEFI settings. This key usually F2, F10, delete or escape or another key depending on your motherboard or laptop manufacturer. Now navigate to the section related to overclocking. This is usually labeled as OC, overclock lock, overclock, performance or something similar. The exact location and naming can vary by motherboard manufacturer. Now look for settings related to CPU clock speed, multiplier or frequencies. Set these values back to their default or automatic settings. This is usually involves and options like auto or default for the CPU multiplier and base clock settings. Disable memory overclocking. Navigate to the memory or RAM settings. If you are using extreme memory profile for overclocking your RAM, disable it by setting it to disable or selecting the default profile. Now save your changes and exit from the BIOS or UEFI settings. This is typically done by pressing the F10 key on the keyboard and then confirming the save and exit action. After that, check once 
hopefully your problem will be solved. If the error persists, then try this fourth method. Running system file checker or deployment image servicing or management tool from the error screen can help repair corrupted system files that might be causing errors like the unexpected kernel mode trap. To do this, at first, you will need to access Windows recovery environment by following first method. In WinRE, select Troubleshoot. Choose Advanced Options. Select Command Prompt. Now you can use the System File Checker tool to scan for system integrity. Type the command SFC space forward slash scan now and press enter. Well, as you can see the message, Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. If this method is not working, you can try a force offline fix to repair any corrupted system files. In order to continue this procedure, you will need an installation media for the installed version of Windows. If you don't have a Windows installation media, then here's a certain tutorial for you. Insert your Windows installation media to your computer's USB port. After that, restart your computer and go to your PC's BIOS or boot manager. Now select your USB drive to boot from that. Now click next. Click repair your computer at the bottom. Now choose troubleshoot. Then advanced option and click on command prompt. Now type PCD edit and press enter. Here you will need identify your OS drive later. Now type the command SFC space for slash scan now space for slash off booter equals to your OS drive later colon backward slash space for slash off winder equals to your OS drive later colon backward slash your system root location. Now press enter to execute this command and don't close this scan and repair operation until it's completed. Well, as you can see the message, Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. Type exit and press enter. Now turn off your computer and remove your Windows installation USB and then turn your PC back on. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. If you recently made changes to your system such as installing a new drive, application or modifying the Windows registry, then restoring the system to a previous stable state can help to fix this top code error. To do this, ensure you have a Windows installation media. If you don't have it, follow this tutorial to create one. Ok, once you have the Windows installation media, insert the Windows installation media into your computer's USB port. Restart your computer and boot from the USB drive. On the Windows setup screen, click on next. Click on repair your computer. Select troubleshoot then advanced option and then choose system restore and click next now choose the restore point from the date and time when your system was functioning correctly ok now click on next now click finish and confirm the restore process by clicking finish now wait for system restore process to complete your computer will restart automatically on stern after the restart, check if the issues you are experiencing have been resolved. And note, this method 5 also helps to restore some certain Windows top code related errors. You can check out our channel, there's available some certain Windows top code error related solutions. 
So I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.